take your, I'd like to take this minute to say hello to the replay viewers. <laughs> 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 and Kayvon gets the prize for first to join. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Periscope HQ in sunny San Francisco. Kayvon with the multicolored hand wave. <laughs> hey, Jay Talks. Uh, for those who do not know me, my name's Aaron. Uh, I was the first engineer at Periscope, and I'm here with a bunch of Periscope team members to talk about a really exciting bunch of launches that uh, we're announcing today. We're going to be talking about replay highlights, we're going to be talking about web embeds, we're going to be talking about auto-playing video. Everyone in here right now is just basically happy that this broadcast is working. <laughs> um, so let's... Hi, Gabby. Uh, yeah, awesome news. Nice hipster studio, thanks. <laughs> yes, we call this the glass cage. You can see people are just kind of outside of the glass cage. We're the full transparency into what's going on in here. Um, okay, so why don't we kick this off by handing it over to Veronica. Hi right, guys, so I'm Veronica, I'm a designer here at Periscope, and I'm super excited to talk to you guys about an awesome new feature we're launching called Highlights. So, as many of you guys know, we have a ridiculous amount of stuff on Periscope and um, we have live stuff, we have replay stuff and we really want to make it easier for you guys to find awesome moments in Periscope. So, the way we uh, approach this problem is we use some fancy magic technology and a variety of signals um, to analyze broadcasts and create a trailer for you guys to watch and this is easily accessible from over your home there. feed Why don't we All right, it put now. it over here yeah. okay here so here's my home feed and you can see I have five oh, 55 let me, let me focus real quick make sure that, okay. okay yeah so as you guys can see I have 55 recent so I I watch periscopes a lot but it would be pretty hard to go through everything but now I can just hit play highlights Ooh. and look at that we have super immersive Auto playing experience. I can easily swipe over to the next thing, see what's going on. If I'm really into this one, I can tap on the metadata and it brings me right into the broadcast from where I saw the moment. If I want to go back in, back out, that's super easy as well. I'm right in my feet in the right spot and I can advance. So another thing I wanted to guys talk to you about because it was a huge, huge discussion was the progress bar at the bottom. So yeah, let's, 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 let's see in. if we can zoom in into, into that. So yeah. yeah, there you go. So we had so many discussions about this one and went through so many iterations, but I feel like we landed in a really good spot. And so basically what you can see is that the different, uh, you can see the different points where, um, where, where our magic technology identified These. the moments, yeah, and you can see that it kind of progresses you through them, and additionally, um, it gives you a sense of when the next cut is going to happen in the broadcast. So this is something we talked about a lot as well because it, you know it can be these are auto generated, so it can be a little bit the transition can sometimes be a little bit harsh. And um, having a sense of progress through the moment really helps um, ease that. Cool. So uh, um, I'm going to hand it off to Aaron now, and he's going to show you all the awesome different places yeah. where we are actually using this feature because it's not just in your home feed. So, um, I mean, I think that what Veronica just showed is kind of like my favorite place to, to use this. This is something like I, over the last couple of weeks as we've been demoing it, like I've been really excited to like wake up in the morning and just be able to like tap that button and, you know, watch the highlights of all the broadcasts that I missed overnight. But we really wanted to bring this uh, ability to a whole bunch of different parts of the application. So for example, the map, if you like search uh, for a specific place and there are a bunch of um, replays, like, uh, I don't know, maybe there's a bunch of replays in LA, when you click on a pin, you can view the highlights for that area as well. Uh, you can also view highlights on people's profiles. So if we clicked on 
uh, anyone who has uh, broadcasted recently, you see we can click play highlights and it's kind of like seeing the highlights of that person. So it's really, really nice. I mean, honestly, this uh, featured user section is something that uh, I probably wasn't checking as often as I should. Now, honestly, every single day, I kind of c come over here just to see who our team has been featuring. And it's really easy for me, regardless of whether or not I want to follow this person or not, to be able to kind of just get like a quick high level sense of like the type of content that they broadcast, which is really nice. And then one other spot uh, is of course in your profile. For anyone who has broadcasted recently, you'll be able to actually view your own highlights for all the broadcasts um, that, that you've done over the last few weeks. And I think actually it's really good that we're using your phone because yeah. Veronica just got back from Mom a really awesome, yeah, yeah, Veronica just got back from a really great vac vacation. Yeah, this is in Japan. Everyone should go look at Veronica's profile <laughs> <laughs> and view, view her highlights. Let's see if we do that here, we can find you, right? How do you spell your last name again? I don't want to. I don't want to. If H -E -C -K -O. people. Yeah, yeah. Okay. H -E -C -K -O. I don't remember if there was a C or. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, we can. Play just... highlights from there. Yeah. So we we tried to bring this play highlights uh, functionality throughout the app. Definitely go poke around, explore, find find different spots where it makes sense. Um, but you know your home feed. I think if anyone is downloading the app update, I know I saw someone ask the question if this was just iOS or iOS and Android. The version is uh, 1.6 for both iOS and Android. You uh, can go download it and you should be able to, at the very least, view highlights of anything in your home feed. I know we've featured some really, really cool broadcasts. You can go check out the highlights mm -hmm. for those right now. Mm -hmm. Should we actually show highlights in one of our feature channels? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. See, there's so okay. many places that I just... Yeah. So right now, anyone who's in the States is obviously... Uh, probably aware of the fact that the conventions are going on right now. If you go to this featured channel that we've created, Conventions 2016, you can watch the highlights for that as well. So if you wanted to see anything that's going right, right, the, the conventions in Cleveland right now. So there's a lot going on there. You can see we have 47, 47 highlights that you can just really easily scroll through. And like as Veronica, oh, by the way, you can like, you can obviously still send hearts if you like it. <laughs> it's a meta hearts here. Let me overlay the hearts on hearts. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And if you're interested in that particular replay, you can tap to go in. So should we hand it over to Tyler? Yeah. All right. So now. All right. Here, I'll come over here. Gonna... All right, guys. Introduce Tyler here. So I'm Tyler. I'm also a designer like Veronica. Uh, and I want to show Autoplay, which is an Android-only uh, release right here, although we hope to bring it to iOS in the future. But what we can see here is the home feed is actually like auto-playing video, and right here at the top of this home feed is this broadcast you're watching right now. But you can scroll down and uh, we'll start playing all the other videos. So you can sort of get a better sense of um, what you want to watch before you, you know, actually dive all the way in um, and get audio, get your, your chats and your hearts, all that sort of interaction. Um, so this is uh, Android only right now, but we're hoping to bring it to iOS, and we think it's a really cool feature, and it'll work too in the in the global feed. Um, it's cool to see, you know, this stuff as video because we're really a video platform. This seems this is like a, a much more fun and interesting way to uh, consume and browse your broadcasts. Yeah, um, this this is only existing in the uh, your home feed and your global feed, um, but we hope to bring it to more places and and see how you guys like it and make improvements. To it for sure. Um, so that's mostly that feature. Uh, really cool. We also want to show uh, web embeds because what we just released is the ability to uh, embed a tweet and uh, if that tweet has a periscope in it then the periscope uh, is there and playable and works. Um, so we have couch over here. Do you want to show anything? Couch sure. is on the couch. <laughs> couch is getting from the couch. <clears throat> um, so if you've seen broadcasts on Periscope on web before. That's here and that's how they work. They uh, will let you watch everything live and see comments and hearts and I'm just gonna reload it here to make sure everything's good with it. That is not what I wanted. Um, but embeds now allow you to see a live broadcast uh, on any site. So you can take a tweet when you share your broadcast to Twitter. You can take that tweet and embed it on any place. Like if you wanted to put it on your own blog or if you're a publisher and you wanted to put it on a news site, 
um, you can do that. And so you can see an example here on our uh, launch announcement online. We have this broadcast actually rendered on the page. This is um, not yeah. Twitter. This yeah, this is, is we're this, is, medium, right? this is our launch post talking about everything that we released today. And at the bottom of it, we have the tweet embed showing this broadcast live. So you can just watch it in line on, on the site, uh, which is pretty cool. So this is going to get a little loopy here now that they're showing in two places. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so you'll be able to put them anywhere that you want. So when, if you have a broadcast when, you've, when you're done with it and you want to share it with uh, other people on your site or other places, there's some breaking news and you work in news and you want to put it there, you can do that now. Um, so it's pretty cool. Anywhere you can embed a tweet, you can embed a uh, Periscope video now. So that's pretty exciting. Oh man, we're, we're super stoked for it. Right here. It's just going to keep keep going. <laughs> Forever. All right, Forever. guys. This is, this is a bunch of the new stuff we just came out with. And um, definitely uh, tweet at us, reply to this. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get back to you guys soon with even more new features as well. But uh, we're really excited about this, all this stuff. Really want to hear what you guys think. So cool. Should we Thanks, take a guys. few more few questions? Oh, sure. If there's yeah. questions. Right. Yeah. Will chat on web be a thing? All right, here's your man. Chat on web? Oh, chat on web. Yes, we are working on uh, the ability to send hearts, comment, do all of that on web. This was one of the things we wanted to, to be working on next, but that's that's coming. It's easy. Not a question. It's easy. <laughs> do you have a way we can share or suggest feedback? Aaron, you want to take this one? That is a so you can always tweet at us. That's definitely I think probably the most like flexible way. Mm -hmm. We have a feedback email account, which hopefully someone who's on the Periscope team right now can put into the well, comment stream. The easiest way is if you uh, go to our people tab and open up your profile and scroll down. There's a button that yeah, says okay. send feedback. And that works. Uh, yeah. but all that does is pre-format an uh, email that has all the correct information so you can get to us, but that's the best way to send us feedback. Uh, Twitter's pretty good, too, I guess. Yeah, yeah they're, both, they're both pretty lightweight. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, anything else? Still ephemeral? Still uh, ephemeral. No, not really. Everything lasts forever now. Uh, so this broadcast you'll be able to watch after 24 hours. Um, uh, there are some uh, options and stuff in your settings if you wanted to change some of those things. But yeah, if you want your broadcast to be ephemeral, you still can. Yeah. You can mm -hmm. still toggle that on in settings and yeah. it'll make all your broadcasts expire after 24 hours. But uh, generally speaking, everything you find sticks around forever. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you guys That's so it. much. Here's everyone. All right. Thanks, guys. Here's Liz. Thank you, Liz. Hi. <laughs> all right. Bye from, bye from the glass cage. Bye from the glass cage. Oh, yeah. here's the key wrong. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs>